Welcome to Oakland Connection. I'm your host, Tim Burns. I'm pleased to be joined by Oakland County Treasurer Andy Meisner. Thanks for being on the show, Andy. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you, Tim. So for our viewers out there who might not be that familiar with what the county treasurer does, can you tell me a little bit about your responsibilities? Certainly. The, uh, you know, the county treasurer uh, essentially serves as the banker for Oakland County. Uh, all the money that comes into the county uh, from different sources, taxes, uh, state, federal government, uh, comes in through my office. Okay. And, uh, you know, a lot of the things like paychecks and payments to vendors uh, that leave my office, um, you know, go through it. Right. Uh, the extra money or surplus uh, I invest uh, on a short-term basis. And right now I've got about a billion dollars uh, in okay. county taxpayer uh, dollars that we're investing in largely in local uh, community banks and credit unions and institutions and then I also handle the delinquent tax uh, administration process Okay. and uh, serve as the treasurer for a number of county uh, organizations like the county uh, retirement board, All right. uh, the economic development and business finance corporation, All right. uh, the Detroit Zoo Authority, uh, okay. uh, the, the Oakland County arm of it and so right. um, it's a pretty varied job. So now, recently, uh, the millage for the Oakland or for the zoo through Oakland County just really was recently adapted, wasn't it? Yes. So that's a relatively new responsibility uh, for you doing that. Yes, and I handle. It's actually the uh, the Oakland County Zoo Authority is technically right. the name of it, but uh, my office serves as, as treasurer for that authority, and uh, we assist in the uh, collection uh, of those millage revenues and uh, forward those on to the uh, you know to the zoological society right. uh, to support. What really is a you know a fantastic institution that uh, you know really is an economic boost uh, for the region and certainly for Oakland County, and uh, I think that they had they've, I think they've had a record summer this year. I don't know if uh, viewers have been over there, but uh, <laughs> Zoo is looking really good. Great, you know down there in Royal Oak, it really is a jewel of Oakland County, and uh, glad we were able to work that out so that uh, it's able to keep operating and stay in business for everybody there. I'm a big fan of the polar bears. If anyone hasn't <laughs> seen the polar bear exhibit, you're sitting there with a 1,200 pound to polar bear in this go. tunnel right above you, and right. uh, so it's a lot of fun. And that's a good place to go on a hot day too, like we've had this <laughs> summer. <laughs> Plenty of those this summer. That's right. So you know, on a little more serious note here, uh, you mentioned uh, dealing with delinquent taxes. Yes. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the work you're doing with United Way to help people with foreclosures and dealing with those types of issues? Sure. You know, well, you know, as you mentioned, Tim, you know, I do deal with uh, tax foreclosures, um, and that is a very serious matter. Uh, the tax law in Michigan uh, on property taxes is, uh, you know, pretty harsh. Um, and if somebody falls behind in their taxes, um, you know, it uh, requires them to pay some pretty nasty interest and fees. And uh, unfortunately, I have to administer that. Um, but, uh, you know, we're seeing an increase in the number of tax foreclosures. Right. Now, the foreclosure that more people are common, you know, are, are aware of is the mortgage foreclosure. Right. And, uh, you know, Oakland County has had, you know, more than its fair share of mortgage foreclosures, uh, you know, over the last several years. Right. And that's something that has caused our property values to decline. Um, you know, in 2007, 2008, before the, the burst, uh, you know, we had $64 billion in taxable value. Uh, right now it's about $50 billion. And it's just, you know, torn up neighborhoods uh, throughout Oakland County. And so part of the response that I've tried to initiate as county treasurer is a, uh, an innovative strategy called www.fightmortgageforeclosure.com slash Oakland. Okay. And it's an online portal that's sponsored by the United Way, part of a regional collaborative with Macomb, Wayne, and Washtenaw counties. And anyone in Oakland County who is experiencing any difficulty relating to foreclosure, and that could, could include uh, wondering whether or not you might apply for one of the federal programs, mm -hmm. uh, the loan modification program, or the new hardest hit program that provides actual cash subsidies mm -hmm. up to $750 a month for families that are in real tough shape. Okay. We have certified housing counselors that will uh, work with you um, and kind of just kind of guide you through the process. And if there's a difficult case, you know, since I'm investing so much money with the banks, mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll get on the phone and say that Oakland County has got a strategic interest in preventing this foreclosure. And, you know, no matter how the foreclosure happened, 
you know, maybe somebody made an irresponsible decision, right. um, tried to stretch a little bit too far for the American mm -hmm. dream, yeah. uh, or maybe they were victimized of predatory lending. Mm -hmm. Either way, Oakland County suffers the impacts in drops in property values from that loss. Right. And so um, we try to deal with it as much as we can on the front end. And, in, and strongly encourage anybody uh, you know that might be watching the show to think about themselves, their friends, and their loved ones, and to be sure to contact us at fightmortgageforeclosure.com slash Oakland, okay. or call my office at 858-0627, and let's get you connected with a housing counselor. You know, Tim, you've been a real advocate for consumer affairs uh, for a number of years, and I'm sure that everyone is familiar with your reputation. One of the things I'm real concerned about is that there are folks out there that are marketing foreclosure prevention services. Right. And they might be attorneys, um, they might be people just kind of pretending to offer this service or claiming to, right. charging thousands of dollars. Um, I just had somebody in the office today who got ripped off on one of, by one of those uh, scam artists. Right. And so that's why it's so important for us to steer these folks to certified housing counselors that can actually help them stop digging and uh, you know if you can't pay for your mortgage you probably can't right. afford foreclosure prevention services either right. and unfortunately you know from my experience with a decade at the better business bureau sure. that uh... you know it's like the scam artists really look for when you're at your most vulnerable and then they always know that people will be able to scrape up some money to be able to try to do that last ditch effort and that's where they make a lot of money and unfortunately use money that you already don't have to, to spend and to lose so uh, people really need to be careful about that sort of stuff and, and you know contact a reliable person like county Treasurer Andy Meisner and get some information before you might go to one of these businesses that are uh, charging you. One thing you need to recognize with those types of businesses is that it's illegal for them to charge you an upfront fee. So before you give someone that money, understand that. That's a, that's a great point. I, I just had a guy in my office today who paid $3,000. Um, the person ended up using an alias and a, mm -hmm. a, a made-up association with a law firm and just took off with the money. And it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's a travesty. But I uh, appreciate your, uh, you know, your leadership on that issue uh, and uh, you know, allow me to help get the word out about that. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. You're always one of our favorite guests on the show. Thank you. And <laughs> always have a lot of good information for the viewers. So, um, you know, I know we were talking before we were on, uh, on the air here that uh, you uh, had just came from working and finalizing uh, one of the county's uh, um, auctions. Can you tell us a little bit about what that involved? Sure. Um, you know, as I mentioned, uh, you know, it's a very serious matter, um, but there are cases where somebody gets delinquent taxes, and uh, despite our many efforts to reach out and to get them on a payment plan, even if it's 25 or $50 a month, you know, we have some people that just, um, you know, that won't do that. They won't show the good faith to say, this is my debt, and I'm going to work it off. Um, and so, or they might just walk away from the property. We've seen growing numbers of banks that take a property in mortgage foreclosure right. and then allow it to go to tax foreclosure because right. they don't want to pay the taxes. Right. So we had about uh, nearly 1,200 properties that we auctioned off, uh, you know, today and the, yesterday, the day of uh, the, the taping, uh, which today I guess is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we uh, had that difficult task of, you know, not being able to get the back taxes from the taxpayer. Mm -hmm. The state law then requires me to offer those properties at auction. And so uh, what I did for the first time was uh, entered into a partnership um, with the uh, North Oakland County Board of Realtors and some right. of the area realtors mm -hmm. to try to harness their private sector expertise in tapping into families that can buy those homes, right. get them back on the tax rolls, right. and then contribute to, that, to the stability of that neighborhood, you know, maybe sending right. their kids to the local schools, right. um, participating in civic affairs, um, but helping to kind of uh, undo some of the damage that has been done to the community, right. whether it be um, hundreds of homes, uh, commercial properties, industrial properties, or a, a fair number of subdivisions that were started, um, you know, uh, before the bubble burst, and that now, you know, are, are not just viable, and so they were were lost to taxes. Right. Now, I know I've uh, heard that you've grabbed a lawnmower and gone out and mowed the lawns of some of these houses that uh, <laughs> the county uh, has taken custody of. Um, so what's the situation with that? Is that before the auction, or does some of these not get bid on? Tell us a little bit yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, no, I, uh, I will get my John Deere out and uh, go out and mow some of those lawns and, uh, and change some of the locks. Um, 
you know, particularly last year, uh, as I was kind of in my first year uh, really running the auction. Um, and what that is, that's about when the county takes the property um, as of March 31st of the third year that the taxes are delinquent. Okay. At that point, the property becomes the uh, responsibility of the county. Right. And so we need to get out there and mow the lawn, um, try to secure the property, and do what we can to prepare it for sale. Right. Um, this year, um, you know, based on some experience last year, um, you know, we, we made some investments in maintaining the properties and finding some of the nicer homes and mm -hmm. cleaning those up right. and then turning them over to, to realtors, you know, to tap right. in and kind of show the properties and to market them. Right. And I've got to tell you that the, the response was unbelievable. Uh, last year, we had 300 people come to the auction. Okay. This year, we had over 800 people that came. Okay. And we did over $5.5 million in sales. Now, every one of those $5.5 million mm -hmm. are dollars that we're not going to have to now turn to the taxpayer and put on the taxpayer's tab. Right. Instead, we were able to get those properties you know, into the private sector and to make them productive. So they go right. from being a problem to part of the solution and uh, I'm really proud of the staff at the Oakland County Treasurer's Office and some of our vendor partners right. uh, who helped make it such a, a huge success. And if I may say, there's a woman named Cassie Patterson, okay. uh, no relation to Brooks, okay. um, who's worked in the office for 37 years oh, okay. and is retiring this year. So this was her last sale. All right. uh, but in particular, I want to thank Cassie Patterson for her dedication. And right. if you can imagine, 37 years of service to Oakland County. That's going to be a lot of experience to have to replace there. <laughs> we're, uh, we're already on the journey job and uh, she's promised to uh, be available for us to help out if we need her. And um, these auctions take place up at the Board of Commissioners Auditorium? Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, we had the Board of Commissioners Auditorium packed to the gills, uh, okay. standing room only, and it was uh, it, it was pretty full in there. Right. You know, I've noticed recently that you've been on the national news. Can you tell us a little bit about what that's about? You know, um, the mortgage foreclosure prevention strategy is just one part of the continuum. You know, that's about preventing. Right. But after the damage has been done, you know, we've lost real value, $14 billion. And I am really committed to making sure that the institutions that are responsible for us losing that money are paying their fair share. And so I initiated a first-in-the-country lawsuit against Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac for them claiming a government entity exemption to the real estate transfer tax. Okay. When you or I sell our home in Michigan, mm -hmm. we have to pay a real estate transfer tax. Right. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have been claiming that they're government entities and they don't have to pay it, even though they have CEOs who are making over $5 million, okay. they have a board of directors, and they're traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Hmm. And so I filed a, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, and by the way, their, their website mm -hmm. says, we are not a government entity. Right. And so I think it's really uh, disingenuous that they're claiming this. And so I, I filed a, a lawsuit okay. um, on behalf of the Oakland County taxpayers mm -hmm. um, to recover uh, between 2 and $4 million in lost real estate transfer tax revenues to okay. Oakland County and between 10 and $20 million for the state of Michigan. Okay. And um, we've got some, uh, some national coverage on it. And I've got uh, public officials as far away as San Francisco um, who are initiating uh, lawsuits based on my lawsuit. Okay. And so um, it's kind of a nice opportunity for Oakland County to demonstrate some, uh, some right. national leadership exactly. and to be really fighting to protect the Oakland County taxpayer. Right. Well, our time's up for today. I appreciate you being on the show. Just one last uh, segment here is can you tell us how they can reach you if uh, someone has a question for the Treasurer's Office? Certainly. Um, you know, I'm always available. Uh, at my, my office is 248 858 0624. That's 248 They can visit uh, me online at www.oakgov.com slash treasurer. Okay. Um, and then, as always, my, my cell phone is and always has been uh, 421 Andy. Uh, if people are in a pinch and need to connect with me uh, uh, personally. I have to tell you, I am impressed. I was up at court the other day. I had to stop by and file something, so I was walking through the corridor where your office was, and I saw some cards with Andy Miser on it for the public just to pick up, and there was your cell phone number on it, and I was like, well, wow, that's a stand-up guy. So um, Accessibility is important, <laughs> and I know that's something that you've always subscribed to as well. So I appreciate uh, your service to the community. Thanks for being on Oakland Connection, and uh, we'll have you back on again sometime soon. Okay. Thank you so much, Tim. Appreciate it.